Hello there and salam ibu pertiwiku. Sarawak will be increasing its tilapia export to Singapore due to overwhelming demand from the country. Speaking during the Barambe Ngan Abang Jo Town Hall session in Betong this morning, Chief Minister Dato Patinggi Abang Zawari Ton Abang Haji Openg said he was approached by a Singapore minister recently saying that Singapore wants more of Sarawak tilapia due to its high quality. Dato nak import ikan kita untuk coba, coba aja. Kita hantar ke lah berapa, 12 tan, 12 tan ikan tilapia daripada batang air. Kita jual di Singapura. Pertama kali dalam sejarah Sarawak kita import ikan tilapia. The first time, 12 tan. Lepas ya menterinya datang ke Sarawak, berjumpa saya, jumpa Douglas, nya minta supaya ditambah ikan tilapia tu supaya dapat dibeli oleh sidak di Singapura. Menteri jumpa saya. CM, Chief Minister, can you think of increasing the volume of your fish to be exported to Singapore? Saya pun nanya menteri Singapura tu, apa hal? Ikan kami tu disuka oleh Singapura. Yang kata ikan kita di Sarawak lebih baik daripada ikan di Semenanjung rasa. He added Sarawak could penetrate any other market globally if its farm produce could penetrate the Singaporean market. The 1.2 kilometers long Batang Rajang Twin Bridge worth 120 million ringgit in Durin Sibu is expected to be open to the public in April next year. Works Minister Barubian revealed that this is two months ahead of the project's original schedule. The bridge, according to Baru, is under work package 07, stretching from Bintango Junction in Sarike Division to Sungai Kua Bridge in Selangau District. He added the project is capable of being the catalyst for Sarawak Corridor of Renewable Energy, SCORE, and development of potential areas, especially commercial centres and industrial along the Pan Borneo Highway. Following the sudden collapse of five structure beams at the Pujud Bypass flyover construction site, a forensics team from the Department of Occupational Safety and Health, DOSH, is set to visit Miri for further investigation. The incident, which occurred on Friday, December 13th, around 2.40 p.m., has injured two welders. Minister of Human Resources M. Kula Segaran Murugeson assured that a comprehensive investigation will be carried out by the team, which will take about two to three months to complete. The minister also revealed that the forensics team will also look into the whole process, including technical errors. And that's the end of English news for today. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs>